Oh yeah, baby. The Tundra and Walmart in one shot. That could only mean one thing, folks. How's it going, everybody? And welcome back to the channel. We're taking her back old school. If you guys remember videos way back in the day, Sam and I used to come to Walmart and buy some sort of air rifle, BB gun, whatever it may be, and take it in the backyard to do some small game hunting. Well, that's what we're doing today. A little throwback. As you guys know, we're doing the small game tour. We're doing all of this small game hunting before the season closed and posting it for you guys to watch. And I'm excited for today because I haven't bought a Walmart gun in a super long time. I don't even know if Walmart offers air rifles anymore or BB guns. We're gonna have to go in there and find out. But the mission for today is obviously to find something in there and I wanna find the most expensive air rifle slash gun they have in there, buy it, bring it to my parents' house, walk around in the backyard and hopefully shoot a squirrel or a rabbit. That's kind of the agenda for today. Drop comments down below. Let me know if you guys have been enjoying the small game videos. And without further ado, let's walk in Walmart and try not to get kicked out. They do indeed have some pretty dope looking guns. Look at that. 866 Barra lever action. We got some youth guns. We got, what is this? A Crossman air powered breakable barrel. hundred bucks. I think it looks pretty sick. Huh. Got some Rugers. Dude. We got some, okay. Some, that one's $170. Oh my gosh. That one's more expensive. This one's 150. The Swarm 10X Whisperer. Okay. The Shadow Whisperer. Red Rider. Well, that's the Red Rider right there. Then we got some daisies right there. Some targets. Wow, I'm actually surprised of all the selection that Walmart has. Okay, so after looking at all of the options that they have here at Walmart, I think I have came to a decision. And number one, I'm probably gonna be buying the most, it is the most expensive one here. It's about $200. And it's the one that has the fastest FPS. That's kind of what I was looking for. I'm not a big air rifle guy, so I don't know exactly like the ins and outs of everything, but I was just looking for the fastest FPS and it so happened to be the most expensive one. So I'm thinking that's probably my best bet. It's this Gamo Swarm Gen 2 Maxim 10X 17 Cal. I mean, this thing looks pretty sweet. We got 1300 FPS and it's a gas piston. So, I, I mean, I have no idea how this is gonna be. I've never owned one of these, but we're gonna see if this thing can do the job. Again, I'm a huge noob when it comes to all of this air rifle stuff. So for all of you air rifle junkies, uh, drop comments down below. Let me know if I bought a good one. I'm just gonna go with this and hopefully it's gonna be a good little small game air rifle for myself. Uh, but I'm gonna have to pick up some targets as well as some pellets. All right, that was easy enough to have about a million target things, but we're gonna grab that blue one. And then over here, we have all of the pellets. Since I'm getting a gamo gun, I think I'm just gonna get the same ammunition. We have two different options here. There's the red fire and the silent cats. These ones have the red tips, these ones don't. And it looks like this one's a 10.5 grain and this is 7.8. These ones are probably more accurate and they might have more velocity. This one says heavy weighted pellet for maximum energy. So I don't really know much about this. I, I really need your guys' help in the comments. Like moving forward, what's the best pellet for small games such as rabbits and squirrels? I think for today's video, I'm gonna try the Silent Cats. And number one, they're more expensive, so they gotta be better, right? Number two, they're a heavier grain. And I don't know, I just feel like heavy weight pellet for maximum energy. I don't know, I feel like them rabbits gonna have like thick fur and same with the squirrels. So we're gonna get one of these guys and hoping, 
I made the right decision. Let me know in the comments. So now that I have pellets, a gun, and a target, I'm gonna check out here, go back to the crib, and sight in the gun, and then take it hunting. I'm really excited. This is my first time ever buying a air rifle at Walmart, and it so happens it's the most expensive one. So you can do this as cheap as you want or as expensive as you want. I decided I'm gonna try the bougie route today. I wanna take a quick second to let you guys know that in the video you're watching right now, I am wearing the Tidewee 800 gram Thinsulate boots. These things have been awesome to wear year round, whether I'm ice fishing, hunting, whatever it may be, these things have been awesome. So make sure to check out Tidewee. It'll be linked down in the description below. Use code MINDEC18 to save you guys some money and check out all the stuff they have to offer on their website. Now, back to the video. All right, folks, we made it back to my parents' house and we're gonna do an unboxing of the gun that I just bought. Now, I got the receipt and after buying the targets, two things of pellets and the old gamo, the total came out to about, I think it was $300 or so, maybe a little less than $300, like 280 something. Yeah, it was like 280 something, but that's not that bad. Pretty expensive though, but like I said, you could do this as expensive or as cheap as you want. All right, so I'm gonna start cracking this old boy up right here. And by the end of this video, kind of the goal is to, is uh, if you guys are in the market for a pellet rifle, or I mean an air gun at Walmart, or just looking for something to handle you some nuisance, in the backyard or whatever it may be. Um, I'll let you know if this gun's worth it or not for $200 or so, but I'm, I'm excited, man. I haven't done one of these videos in a long time. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, oh, sheesh. We're dropping stuff all over. Oh my gosh, dude. Well, it comes in this protective little wrap here that Mindax just about to rip open. Oh man, so this is a brake barrel, I believe. And I th honestly, this might be the exact same gun that I used in Florida last year chasing down iguanas. For those that you remember, um, this, this might be the same gun, if I'm not mistaken, or something close to the caliber of that gun, but all right. This looks pretty slick. This is what it looks like right out of the gate. Pretty nice. Yep, it's got a brake barrel action there. So that's how you load it and all that such. But I mean, first initial thoughts. Okay, it's a little bulky right here. I, I wanna say this feels a little bulky. I wish this was a little skinnier, but it shoulders up pretty nice. I, yeah, it's not that bad. I, this is big enough so I could put a shot cam right here and uh, get some shot cam clips for you guys. But yeah, I mean, right now, yeah, that doesn't feel too bad. Let's see what the scope looks like. Ooh, hoo -hoo. we got a three to nine times 40 little scope there. Not bad at all. Looks pretty cool. Should be good enough for me. And I think there's, is there anything else in here? Oh, oh, yep, one more thing. This is what I think is pretty cool. So, this guy right here, it's like a magazine loader. So you can load it up with all your pellets. And back in the old days, Sam and I would have to put one pellet in at a time. And obviously if you miss, like it's, it's kind of a hassle because you're trying to like grab these little pellets and shove them in there as fast as you can to shoot a rabbit or a squirrel. But now we got this guy. This thing is a game changer. So you put, you can hold up to, I believe 10 pellets in this guy right here. And you stick it in the gun there and you cock her back and you got 10 shots right there. So after 10 shots, if you miss 10 times, well, then you just suck and you're gonna have to reload this. But yeah, that's a pretty cool thing right there. And look who decided to come over here and make a guest appearance. Ooh, let's go clap a rabbit or, or a squirrel. squirrel. You never know. Look at, the, look at the new Walmart gun that I bought. Pick it up and let me know what you feel about it. I gave my opinions. This thing's beefy for a pellet gun, bro. That's what I said. Now shoulder it up and let me know like what it feels like. 
Feels nice. You need a scope on this thing. Yeah, I know. I came with the scope. Um, but what I was telling the folks, I thought it was a little bulky right here. It is a little Doesn't bulky. Doesn't it feel a little bulky? It's, it's wide, man. I know. I wish it was a little it's less It's made for, bulky. like, freaking Big John Junior. Cena. Yeah, Big Junior, John Cena. You guys name it. How do you... Uh, I, I don't know how I don't know how this works. This is me and Sam are big noobs here, obviously. So it's a brake barrel, Sam. No, I, I clearly oh. I'm just trying to figure out how do you break it. You, you, you just push thing. down, pull down no, on that no, son of a gun. No, yep. Let's do that. There's no, I did. I, I just did it. Yep. There you go. Just like that, big slamming. Uh, she needs some WD-40. I need to hit the weight room. Yeah, dude. These are so. I think this is the same gun I use for iguanas in Florida. Oh, sure. I think so. I don't know for sure, but it kind of. It takes some muscles, doesn't it? Oh, it definitely does. Yeah, dude. Should we dry fire it? Yeah, is that good for it? Nope. It's got a nice little trigger, though. A little double trigger action. <laughs> <laughs> now that Slayman's here, we're going to put the scope on this and see how it looks. Hmm. Well, I don't know if I did that right. It doesn't look right, but it's on there. And I don't think that's falling off. Oh, yeah. Dude, that looks sick. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, we got the sight mounted on there. I don't know if it's correct or not. I'm going to have to go back and check the owner's manual, which is something I never do. But there she be. All right. I finally got everything set up. I got a GoPro on the target. Got the target set up. Got the magazine, the 10-round magazine, into the gun. We're going to start shooting. I'm, not gonna, I'm just going to see how it shoots right off the bat at 10 yards. And if I need to adjust the scope, we'll go from there. But let's get her dialed in at 10 yards first. All right, I think it worked. We're going to go for a shot here, our first shot, 10 yards away. No correction yet, just this is straight out of the box. Let's see how it is. Okay, that's not bad. I was aiming at the middle, and it was just a little bit right. Not too shabby. I'm gonna take another shot, and I'm gonna see if it patterns the same, if it still goes right. But not, not bad, right out the get-go, just like that. Okay, I can deal with that. Okay. So, it seems as if at 10 yards, the gun is shooting a little bit to the right. Now, I am going to adjust that right now. I don't know how you do this. I think you unscrew this son of a gun right here. Huh. I feel like it's shooting a little bit down now almost. So I'm gonna Bring it up a click. I don't know, this is a lot of trial and error, guys. I haven't sighted in a sight in a long time. Ooh. That was like right on the money, I think. Dude, that's like right on the money. Let's go take a peek. All right, dude, our last two shots were pretty much right on the money. Like I was aiming for this and I hit right here and right there. This is where we started out and then I did a little adjusting and now we're at that. That is pretty good if I do say so myself. I think now that I have it pretty dialed in at 10 yards, I'm gonna back it up another 10 yards and we're gonna try sighting it in for 20. All right, so I just reloaded and put a brand new target out. We're at 20 yards now. So we're gonna see how this thing is at 20. I'm hoping it's gonna be pretty similar to how it was shooting at 10 because then that's less adjusting for myself. So we'll give her a go here. I mean, that's not bad. That's as dead on as it gets, folks. 
I mean, if I'm looking at that correctly, that's pretty much right. Oh yeah. That ain't bad at all, folks. I'll take one more shot right here and then we'll try her at 30. I think I moved on that one. So that was a little bit lower. That was my fault. All right again. Still not bad. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, let's go look at that. Oh baby, I would say that we are pretty dialed in at 20 as well. My first shot was this guy, and then that last shot was right here. This shot I moved, so that one is disregarded, but that's pretty good patterning for 20 yards. You guys could sit here and watch me mess with this for another hour until I get it like really, really how I want it. But for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna do a little bit more tuning off camera because you guys are probably bored about it. And then we're finally gonna load her up and then head in the backyard and see if we can find something. But so far, the Gamo air gun, not looking too bad. All right, folks, we're gonna begin the walk. I got the Gamo air gun. I got all of the pellets in my little clip. I'm gonna cock her, make sure I got a bullet in there in case we see something. Keep her on safe till we see something. And yeah, we're gonna let it rip. So this is the shelter belt. You guys have seen this in many videos. I'm just gonna do a couple pushes. And uh, beans that obviously I got a scope on this, it's not a shotgun. It's gonna be really hard to shoot something running. So I'm gonna have to be a little more quiet today and try to get something to hold tight and stand still or I'm, what I'm really hoping for is to find a squirrel in a tree just sitting there. That'd be best case scenario, but yeah, I don't know if that's gonna happen today or not. So we're just gonna get on walking and hopefully see something, folks. All right, here we go. It is a beautiful day out here. My goodness. I don't think we could have asked for a better day to do a little bit of rabbit hunting to be honest with you guys gorgeous out here okay oh in the last video oh oh i see something maybe oh just kidding that was something else all right we are in the woods here hopefully we can find something that's going to stand still we still have some snow on the ground, so that's gonna help a lot with seeing where the movements have been happening, checking out all of the paw prints and stuff. But I think a big thing that, uh, a big tip that I've found out over these last small game videos is don't be afraid to just stand still for a little bit. It makes some of the animals eerie and some of them might come creeping out just because they're scared. They're like, why is this guy standing still? So. We're gonna maybe do that a couple times a day and hopefully something come creeping out. I mean, there's a lot of movement going right here on this trail. So I'm gonna follow this animal trail here. It looks like there's deer, squirrel, raccoon, rabbit tracks. Everything's just funneling right here. Nothing in the first pass. 
I'm gonna walk in this open field. There's a couple good brush piles and a tire thing that we're gonna go take a look at. And then if nothing is in the pasture, we're gonna double back around and check this one more time. Cause I know we probably walked by so many rabbits and squirrels. We just couldn't see them. All right, unfortunately, I just did a long loop and nothing. So I think now I'm gonna do one more short loop right here, because this is where we've killed the most rabbits in the past and squirrels. And we're just gonna keep our fingers crossed and hopefully find something. All right, here we go. Round two. Hopefully there's something in these woods, man. Pray for me, fellas. Pray for me. Oh my gosh. There's a squirrel eating something on this tree right here. He's just hanging out. He looks pretty oblivious. All right, it looks like he's staying still. I'm gonna try to get a shot here. This is gonna be really hard because I don't have anything to rest my arm on. Oh, no way. Boys, I think I got him. Yeah, let's put the gun back on safe. Set that up there. Oh, baby. Shoo, doggy. Look at that. Not as big as the squirrel I shot earlier, but dude, I got him like right behind the, looks like right behind the head a little bit. That is so cool. I'm gonna bring it over to the camera to show you guys. Well, folks, I can't believe we got it done. We got ourselves a nice little squirrel here. Gonna be an awesome harvest. Got it using the Gamo Walmart gun. I can't believe this thing actually works. I mean, after sighting it in and seeing how it works in the field, I would give this two thumbs up. If you guys are in the market for something, I would maybe check your local Walmart and there's some stuff in there you don't wanna sleep on, but man, that is a beautiful looking squirrel. I'm so excited to eat them. I uh, just ate a squirrel the other day in a video, so I probably won't film uh, cooking this guy up, but if you wanna see how to cook a squirrel, I'll put a thing in the description for you guys to go watch. I literally just did it um, a couple days ago. But wow, that was so cool. I'm probably gonna wrap up the video here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, we just did a little backyard adventure. I mean, we just walked around, enjoyed nature, and we're lucky enough to come back a second time around here and stumble upon a little squirrel. That is so epic. Man, drop a thumbs up for this video. Let me know if you guys have been doing any small game hunting, and let me know what else you guys want to see. Do you want me to go to like Dick's Sporting Goods and buy a different gun, or I don't know what the deal is, but this was a lot of fun. Thank you guys for watching. And we'll catch you guys on the next one.